असलम आज का जो हमारा लेक्चर है वो है फार्माक्यूटिस केमिस्ट्री वन एंड इट इज़ आवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर एंड वी आर स्टडिंग आवर टॉपिक ऑफ स्टडी इज हेट्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल के वाई वी स्टडी हेट्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री बिकॉज दैट हेट्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड हैव ग्रेट इम्पोर्टेंस इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ मेडिसन वेयर मोस्ट ऑफ द मेडिसन विच आर विच आर यूज बाई एस आर having heterocyclic compound so they have importance in making medicines so therefore uh, we study heterocyclic compound first in uh, the syllabus of pharmaceutical chemistry one so therefore first we have the definition of heterocyclic compound which is the cyclic compound which contain uh, another element in addition to the carbon atoms in the ring it, which is called as heterocycles yeah it can be called as heterocyclic compounds theek hai now what is hetero atom द कॉमन हेट्रो आइटम प्रेजेंट इन द कार्बन रिंग इज नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन एंड सल्फर ठीक है द आइटम अदर दैन कार्बन विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द हेट्रोसाइक्लिक रिंग कंपाउंड इज कॉल्ड एज हेट्रो आइटम एंड इट कुड बी नाइट्रोजन इट कुड बी एन ऑक्सीजन इट कुड बी सल्फर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव अ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फ्यूरॉन एंड फ्यूरॉन ऑक्सीजन इज प्रेजेंट सो ऑक्सीजन इज द हेट्रो आइटम इन फ्यूरॉन रिंग बाय द अदर वी हैव फोर कार्बन आइटम्स एंड द हाइड्रोजन आइटम बट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ यूरॉन के नॉट बी ड्रॉन देयर मोर सूटेबल एंड एक्यूरेट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ यूरॉन इज दिस now we have another heterocyclic compound which is thiophene in thiophene we have sulfur as a hetero atom and uh, we see that other are the four carbon atoms now we have a structure of pyridine in pyridine we have hetero atoms nitrogen and while we have 1 2 3 4 5 carbon atoms now we have another heterocyclic compound which is pyrrole in pyrrole we have hetero atom which is nitrogen while other we have four carbon atoms now what is aromatic heterocyclic compounds we we have many compounds of heterocyclic which may be aromatic or may not be aromatic for example this pyridine is aromatic compound while uh, we have another structure which would like this one so it is not a heterocyclic compound it is it is heterocyclic but it is not aromatic okay we have another structure for example we have this like structure okay and this is also not an aromatic compound this is heterocyclic compound but not aromatic okay we have aromatic for example pyridine and this like a structure we have furan we have thiophene we have pyrrol as a aromatic hetero compound so uh, how we came that this compound is aromatic or this is not aromatic we know that uh, the compound which are aromatic heterocyclic compounds follow hucker rule and what is hucker rule hucker's rule the formula to find that uh, whether a compound is aromatic or not is that we have 4n plus 2 pi electrons mean that for example for a compound we uh, count the number of n is the number of hetero atoms for example if we, if a compound has has uh, Uh, and for example if we have n is equal to 0 then we put in it and then we get 2 as a answer mean that this compound has two <coughs> double bonds and it is aromatic so in this way uh, if we put n is equal to 1 then we get the answer 6 so 6 it has six carbon atom in this way benzene uh, like structure is formed so therefore the hucker's rule allow us that a compound is aromatic or not now we move to the classification of heterocyclic compounds heterocyclic compounds are classified into the two types first of all it is five or six member ring or single heterocycle and the second one is condensed heterocyclic compound now we explain it first of all we have first type is 
फाइव और सिक्स मेंबर रिंग और सिंगल हेट्रोसाइकिल वट इज़ बीन बैरिड फाइव और सिक्स मेंबर रिंग आर मोर स्टेबल्स सो द स्टेबल हेट्रोसाइकिलिक विच कंटेन फाइव और सिक्स मेंबर स्ट्रक्चर एंड है इट हैज़ सिंगल हेट्रोसाइकिलिक रिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज़ अ सिंगल रिंग इट इज़ अ सिंगल रिंग स्ट्रक्चर विच इज़ पायरो विच इज़ पायरडीन इट हैज़ वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव मेंबर रिंग इन इट इज सिक्स मेंबर रिंग वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके सो फाइव एंड सिक्स मेंबर रिंग आर मोर स्टेबल नाउ वी हैव अनदर टाइप विच इज़ कंडर्स हेट्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड द हेट्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड विच आर कंडर्स विद एरोमेटिक रिंग ऑफ बेनजीन नाउ वट इज़ मीन बैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव सीन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ नेपथलिन इज रिटर्न हेयर इन दिस नेपथलिन वी हैव टू फ्यूज बेनजीन रिंग्स इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आईडोर वी हैव वन बेनजीन रिंग एंड वन पायरोल रिंग विच आर फ्यूज विद एनदर In cunolin, uh, uh, we have another benzene ring fused with pyridine. So in pyrrole, it also came H. Okay. So in this way, we say that they are the condensed heterocyclic because they have two aromatic rings which are condensed, which are attached with one another. So therefore, we call it condensed, and it can also be called as fused. कंडर्स एंड फ्यूज हेट्रोसाइकिल कंपाउंड ठीक है कि उनकी एग्जाम्पल्स हो गई एंड द आयोपैक नेम वी कॉल इंडोल एज बेंजो पायरोल बिकॉज इट दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बेंजीन एंड दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पायरोल सो दे फोर दे आर कॉल्ड एज बेंजो पायरोल इन दिस वे क्यूनोनिन दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बेंजीन and this is the structure of pyridine so therefore we called it benzopyridine and the 2 3 is given to it because uh, in iopac name the uh, numbering start from uh, heteroatom so therefore uh, from the heteroatom the benzene ring is attached for example it has one it has two and it has three so uh, the fion of benzene ring is at the two and the three position so therefore we called it 2 3 benzo and pyridine okay now we have another example of condensed and diffuse ring which would be isoquinoline isoquinoline has the same structure as a quinoline but there is some difference that in quinoline nitrogen is present at here at this position but in isoquinoline the nitrogen displays to there so therefore the numbering changes for example the numbering changes as one this is 2 this 3 and this is 4 so therefore it called as 3 4 benzopyridine now what we have we have next a nomenclature of heterocyclic compounds so why we given these name and why we give them name so first of all we call five member ring we add if we have a structure which is five membered and then we add suffix or with them and if we have six member ring then we add suffix i in uh, in them and we study that five and six member ring are more stable then we have heteroatoms in the heterocyclic compound so these heterocyclic com- uh, heteroatoms are given name in the iopac name first of all nitrogen is called as aza in iopac name o uh, oxygen is called as oxa and uh, sulfur is called as thia in heterocyclic compounds and so they are given heterocyclic name for example now we discuss some examples about it for example this is a structure of pyridine and pyridine has heteroatom nitrogen for nitrogen we give the name as a so we, first we add as a and then for we have uh, actually six member ring so therefore we add i in its suffix so the name iopac name of pyridine will become azine now we have another example pyrrole pyrrole has nitrogen as the heteroatom so therefore in for the nitrogen we use as a and pyrrole is a five member ring so therefore it's add all in the end in the suffix so the iopac name of pyrrole is become azole now we have furan in furan the heteroatom is oxygen so therefore for oxygen we use oxa so therefore oxa and then all is given for the uh, five member ring so therefore iopac name of furan is oxol 
Now in thiophene sulfur, for sulfur we give it thio and all is given for the five member ring. Now and I told to you that the numbering always start from the heteroatom. Mean always sulfur is given one and then two, three, four, five. Okay. In this way the numbering uh, uh, proceed forward. Now we have a rule for a uh, nomenclature that for one or more heteroatom we use prefixes di, tri and tetra. What is mean by that? If we have for example in thiophil we have only one heteroatom as a sulfur. For some heteroatoms are present in which one or more heteroatoms can be added to a ring. If one or more heteroatoms are present then we use prefix di, tri and tetra. For example here we are. This is a structure in which two nitrogen atoms are present and uh, uh, both of uh, nitrogen are same, same heteroatom. So we uh, given we can start counting from he here and we can start counting from here. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So therefore we have nitrogen at the 1 and 3 position so we called it 1, 3. We have two nitrogen atoms for so we call it dia and we have nitrogen as a heteroatom so we call it azo and we have five member rings so therefore we call it all. So in this way the IOPAC name of this structure will become 1, 3, dia as a all. Okay, now we understand. And uh, have, uh, another rule is if we have considered that we have a structure and in this structure we have uh, different heteroatoms in them. For example, in this structure both heteroatoms are same, both are nitrogen. But in some cases these heteroatoms changes, different hydro heteroatoms comes. Then, we, uh, then what we did? We uh, count from the higher uh, group of heteroatom to give the name first. For example, in priority list, we give oxygen more importance than the nitrogen. We count from oxygen um, because oxygen is more important than nitrogen. So therefore, oxygen, first of all, we add the name of oxygen, which is oxa. And then we add the name of nitrogen, which is eza. And then we count the num total number of uh, members in present in the ring, which is five members. So therefore, we add all in its um, suffix. So therefore, the IUPAC name of this compound is oxa azo ol. Okay. I hope that you will understand the nomenclature of heterocyclic compound. Now we move on to the next very important heterocyclic compound, which is pyrrole. <coughs> Pyrrole is uh, system is very important as it is present in very natural products for example in hemoglobin in chlorophyll and in alkaloids and in various um, volatile oils pyrrole is present and pyrrole is very important for all of these structures so therefore we study heteroatom first because heteroatoms is present in the in hemoglobin in hemoglobin ring structure we have four pyrrole rings attached with one another so in chlorophyll molecule we also have four pyrrole ring attached so therefore these are actually derivative of pyrrole so therefore uh, we include these into the study of pyrroles now what is alkaloids? Alkaloids used in thiomus which is used as a buscopan medicine and it is used to treat cramps in the abdomen. Now hemoglobin has pyrrole and natural drugs has alkaloids in them. Now what is the molecular formula of pyrrole? We actually can count the uh, from structure that this is the structure of pyrrole. One has lone pair on the nitrogen atom and double bonds are here. Now we can count them that it has four carbon atoms to so C4 and the hydrogen atoms are five. Why five? One is here, one, two, three, four, and this is five. Um, for here, easy. I can draw hydrogen atoms over here so that you can easily count. Now see. There are five hydrogen atoms and one nitrogen. So the molecular formula of pyrrole will become C4, H5, N, N, and 1 N. Okay, now we discuss the physical properties of the pyrrole. What are the physical properties? First of all, its appearance. It appears as a colorless liquid. Okay, and its smell is similar to chloroform. Solubility, it is 
slightly soluble very little soluble in water but more soluble in the organic solvents like benzene and whatever whatever now its boiling point is 131 degree centigrade and uh, when it, it oxidizes readily in oxy in air so therefore it it turns into the brown color uh, uh, when it does not expose to the air then it has it is colorless okay if we uh, expose pyrrol in the air directly then its color change and it's become in brown color and storage so therefore uh, we uh, we can't, can't allow pyrrol to expose into the air so therefore they are stored in darker area and in umbered colored bottle okay so it is these are the physical properties of the pyrrole now we move to the next one this is the whole graph for the synthesis of pyrrole okay we have various methods to synthesize the pyrrole first of all we have method and reagent that word we use reagent to make pyrrole then we have catalyst and condition that what kind of catalyst and what temperature we are given what kind of solvent we are using what kind of temperature we are giving to it and the what is the equation how reaction proceed we have written here and what is the product and product is always pyrrole because we are studying the preparation of pyrrole okay now first method is reaction between acetylene and ammonia and the catalyst condition is red hot tube we use a red very hot tube and the temperature is very high and we allow acetylene to react with ammonia and this is the equation now you see here we use two molecules of acetylene and we allow to react it with ammonia in the presence of red hot tube so we see that a pyrrole ring is formed and the hydrogen is released now why hydrogen is released and how we can balance it first of all we have to for the preparation of pyrrole we use four carbon atoms four carbon atoms will be given by the acetylene two molecules and the hydrogen atom will be five so therefore uh, four hydrogen atoms are given from here and the one hydrogen atom is used from the nitrogen hydrogen so two hydrogens are released from the ammonia and one nitrogen is attached here so in this way this fraction proceed and the end product is pyrrole and which is called as azole now we have furon and react with ammonia over steam at 500 degrees centigrade and the catalyst is Al2O3 it is a dehydrating agent and it called as ammonia aluminia and the temperature is 500 and this way the reaction produced and the water is released now we have acid uh, succinamide and zinc dust zinc dust is a uh, reducing agent so we heat it and this is the structure of succinidiamide and it reacts with zinc and the oxygen is released and pyrrole is formed now we have a 1 4 dicarbonyl compound this is 1 4 dicarbonyl compound it can be a dehydic group this is this is aldehyde groups and this can be ketonic group this is ketonic group so as this reaction proceeds you don't have to revise their mechanism but you here you can watch that this hydrogen atom shift here and this uh, electron moved there there is in all formation OH and then ammonia react with it water removal occur and this uh, structure and this form this converted into the pyrrole and pyrrole derivative can be formed from there and then we have another reaction in which ammonia mucate and glycerol this is glycerol this is ammonia mucate reaction and this is again glycerol for hydrogen water remove and then the pyrrole structure uh, form in the presence of ammonia also you don't have to learn it's all procedure but just focus on this reaction okay uh, stay tuned uh, and Allah Hafiz please like share and subscribe this video I hope that you will like it if you find any fault and any mistake from myself then please concern to me Allah Hafiz